What's up, David? Thank you for watching my video and leaving me the message about your newest giveaway. Um, it was uh, great listening and hearing about your your background and stuff. I'm kind of similar in the same way, but I, I'm not the guy that's going to give away a bunch of stuff. But I was always the guy that was like, you know, like oh, you're moving? Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, you need somebody to pick you up at the airport? Yeah, I'll be the one to pick you up at the airport. I was always the guy. I bend over backwards to help you. I was never, but, but I was also never a kind of person who had like had a lot to give away. I just had myself, and I got a lot of myself to give away. So, so I, I kind of understand what you're saying about always being the one to give a help. Um, your question about a childhood toy that really scared you. Now, I grew up with very few to almost no, like, toy toys. I had Matchbox and Hot Wheels and then, like, Big Wheels and stuff like that. My dad always wanted us to have toys that took us out of the house. So we were, you know, rolling up and down the driveway or up and down the street, just not in the house making noise or whatever. So... But I remember one time um, one of my cousins had gotten, I should say, had received, gotten, had um, received uh, a little turntable. And it was like all pink, it was a female cousin. And she had received this whole group of these um, recorded, I don't know, fairy tales or what you call them. But she had this one. It was the um, little engine that could. And we were, it was about six cousins all over at the house. And she had it and she put it on there and she was playing it. And I was probably four going on five at the time. And I don't know, it got to the part where... The train was trying to get up the hill, and the way that the the voice person was doing it, I, I don't know, the whole thing just freaked me out, and I lost it, and I ran out of the room, and, you know, went and ran and, you know, grabbed onto my mom, but as a kid, I didn't have a lot of toys that freaked me out or anything like that. I think in another video, I mentioned that, um... When I got older, uh, I'd gotten some Star Wars toys. I'd gotten like a, a box of used Star Wars toys. And in them was the monster in the pit underneath Jabba the Hutt when Luke Skywalker falls through. And that one freaked out my brother. But that was when I was probably like 9 or 10 and he was like 5. So, yeah. But, yeah, like in my, I didn't, up until probably that box of used Star Wars toys I had gotten, those are the first non, like, Hot Wheels or toys that keep us out of the house type toys that I'd ever gotten. But even to this day, just thinking about it, it doesn't like, like, like I'm not scared or anything, but just I remember being just freaked out by the guy's voice and the way he was talking about it and it was, I I should actually try to see if I can find it. There's gotta be a digital copy of it online someplace, but yeah, that was the that was the only thing that freaked me out. And I don't even know if you consider it a toy, but that's my entry. I hope you like it. Um I guess that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I was off thinking about the little engine that could. <laughs> uh, keep up the good work with your videos. And congrats on what you get, at least 28 already? You passed me up. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye.